cleaning supplies, baby products, mouthwash, deodorant, shampoo, medical devices and medicine. The list goes on and on of everyday items you probably have in your house right now that are tested on animals. As WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs tells us, one woman is dedicating her life to rescuing thousands of beagles neglected and abused in the name of research. Their crates are packed with beagles, rescued from a lab in Spain. More than 40 others get their first taste of freedom in California. Just like most of them, Echo was born for one reason, animal experimentation. Product testing in her eyes caused her to go blind. Ellie was rescued by the Beagle Freedom Project when she was just a puppy. She was scheduled to be euthanized because they were done with her. All of these dogs were saved by Shannon Keith. I asked a laboratory worker once, why beagles? And she said, well, it's because they're so trusting and forgiving. Shannon now dedicates her life to saving beagles. At any given moment, there are at least 70,000 dogs in laboratories in the United States being used for testing. Shannon says the dogs are not only born inside the lab, but some shelters sell their dogs to them. And although the list of animal tested products is large and diverse and the companies well known, the labs are often hidden. This is what I call the industry's dirty little secret. Whistleblowers are key in finding out what's going on inside. Just before we started doing this interview, I got a whistleblower letter. I'm writing about several puppies who nearly all died because of the conditions they were in. Most of these puppies died and they died a horrible death. Shannon will investigate and file an animal cruelty lawsuit, but she says the best course of action is to raise awareness. That's why she's developed the Free Cruelty Cutter app. A scan of the barcode reveals if the product is animal tested. I say everyone has a little activist in them, right? Many nationwide chains carry cruelty-free products. These products can also be ordered online. I'm more connected than ever to and, and committed more than ever to leading a cruelty-free life, to making sure that our house doesn't have any products that are tested on animals. Shannon will continue fighting for the beagles. And Echo will continue to sing the praises of Shannon and the Beagle Freedom Project. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Abby Isaacs.